So we're back for more Valheim. I'm here at my big mead hall type hall, and I have a cape. I made a cape, finally, because I was like, you know, maybe the cape's going to keep me warm, and it doesn't. Uh, it's made of deer hide, and it doesn't keep me warm. But that's okay, because there goes a uh, lag again. That's random lag still. I have got plenty going as far as uh, my production. I mean, it's just it's going great. Uh, I've got a huge number of trees going over there, making plenty of wood, more wood than I need. And I have pigs. I have piggies. And I'm going to say I tried the suggested method of luring them in with bait, basically lure men with mushrooms, and I had them walk up, eat, and then go in the exact opposite direction from the next one. And I even walked around the other side, tried to corral them in. I'm going to tell you the trick that worked so much better than anything I've seen anywhere else. I just ran up to them, made them angry at the wild boars, and had them chase me. And they chased me all the way from past the far end of those trees, over here, I ran in, jumped over him to get out, closed the pin. They did damage the fencing a little bit, so I had to repair it. But beyond that, easiest way to get them in there. Just get them to chase you, and then you walk away, leave them for a couple days. They'll forget about you. They'll be nice, and you'll start getting little piggies. Because they got boar, boar, and somewhere in there is a little piggy. I just got, I need food. Troll hide. I end up killing a troll with my new bow. Fancy fine wood bow and when I went back he was already there waiting or his cousin was there waiting with a big Tree as a club chased me around killed him, too So I've got troll hide to make new stuff which is troll tunic pants and uh, Cape which you see the cape it actually says 25% sneak on each So I'm assuming that if there is something that protects against cold like it's cold protection, warmth, whatever it says, it's going to say that on there. So troll hide is not the way to go. I want to find the right way to go. I want to not worry about being cold anymore. So I'm at the edge of the mountain area, which I have not done much here because I usually get the little you're cold type of thing. But I'm assuming if there's something I need to kill to get uh, warm clothing, this might be a place to find it. And I know there's wolves in the game. I've seen that just even in the notes. Uh, the dev notes for each update. So I know there's wolves. I'm thinking I'm looking for a wolf to make a nice fur coat. I hear it. I, I hear what sounds like a very, maybe distant wolf howl. It may have just been like a, you know, like a baby, a little pup howling, but I heard something that sounded like a howl. You would think a wolf might be interested in me, you know? It's a potential food item. Something that, you know, if you take them down, you got a meal. Not just avoid me. So I would assume that at some point the uh, if I find wolves, they're going to come after me. Yeah, that's what you get. Wolf! I was right. He, he heard the plight. Whoa! Uh, two hits. I wasn't even, like, hurt that bad by the gray dwarves. Two hits. I'm down. All right, let's see if I can grab my stuff without getting slaughtered again. All right, got it. I'm not going through that again. Ah, I'll rather take damage from falling too far. Oh, well, something got killed over there. Oh, oh, look at that. Got him. I got wolf pelt and wolf rug unlock. Yeah, something got killed over here. I guess that was another great dwarf. 
killed by a wolf. Uh, you know, I know other games, and I'm under the impression in this game, you can tame them, I would assume. But I don't want to worry about that right now. Right now, I want to kill some wolves to get the supplies I need to make warm clothing. So I'm back at the base trying to stay warm. It's nighttime. It's cold because I don't have enough for anything with the that. I did want to point out I also went ahead and made since last time some bronze nails, which unlocked a bunch of stuff. I didn't really expect it to unlock stuff. But we got a cart. Uh... So I can put stuff in storage and then, yay, I'm a mule. I'm actually a mule. It has got me positioned just like a mule would. Okay, let's try this again. Fresh day. Uh, I'm going to go in the other direction. I went from like right there all the way over there before I got attacked. And I'm just going to see if I can find a wolf along here. If not, then it's going to seem like it spawned by that tower. Uh, which is interesting that it would have to be next to something like that. So I'm hoping it's just the same as with boar. Deer is a random spawn. I just happened to find one coincidentally next to a structure. Oh! Okay, I see a skeleton and a burial chamber entrance. So, Sertling Cores is a fine thing for me to get. Even that was less damage than the wolf did. That doesn't make much sense. Now, I wish there was a way to throw the torch on the ground. So, you know, you could leave it there and let it kind of be a light. Yeah, you'd think that would be sensible to be able to do that. All right. Uh, so many times in combat, I'll get that just sudden lag. It's generally combat, I'll get lag. And just, you know, not doing much, I'll get lag. I'm going to take the mushrooms. All the mushrooms. I was standing right in front of him. He didn't even see me. He was just like... A wanderer. Oh, I'm around the corner now. I can see you. Oh, got the bone pile. Oh. Oh, I uh, I broke it in my torch. Oh, sneaking up behind me. Is there another spawner? Because I got had two suddenly show up from behind. Oh, now I got a bow one. And you're the last one. Look at that. Unless there's another spawner somewhere. It's like, why, why just torches are back here? You could have torches in other areas, you know? You don't have to have them just around this one spot. Oh, there is another spawner in this one. Whoa! Okay, I was, that caught me by surprise. I did not see that corner right there. Oh, ow. Eat. Boom. Burn. All right, going. I'm going. Took a moment for it to actually spawn that one, which I'm fine with. I have no issue with that. I'm okay with it being a little slower. Oh, I got, oh yeah, I already found that map location. That was one I found in another trip recently. So you can find more than one spot to get those, which is good. I was kind of wondering if it was really just one location to find that. All right, where are you coming from now? Is there a third spawner? 
Is this like the biggest one yet? Because it's at the edge of a mountain. I got eight Sertling cores. And I am freezing. So I'm going to try to get out of here. I'm, I'm too far away from home. To just worry about hanging out. You know, I'm not even seeing a wolf hide cape here. So what do I do? I need to build a new workbench improvement. I've already got those. So I was really concerned I might be wasting my time looking for wolves and, you know, not getting what I need to make a cape. Apparently, I have to have a wolf trophy. That's right. I have to have a wolf head to make a cape. I can't just have it go around my neck. I got to have the headpiece in order to make a cape. So that seems like just an artificial limitation to make it just that much more annoying to uh, get to that point. So here's the troll cave where I've already killed two trolls. The main troll and then his cousin. Let's we'll say it's his cousin. And now I can't find him. First one was over here, chased me out that way. I killed him. The second one was waiting for me to enter the forest. Now I can't find a troll. Oh, there he is, finally. I'm just going to do the exact same thing I was doing before. And now he walks pretty quickly, but he still has that delay when he swings at you so you can get away. And his rocks are thrown very slowly. Not like the him pulling back to throw the rock, but the actual speed the rock travels through the air is unrealistic. So it's not really that hard to dodge their attacks. More importantly, all you got to do is run through the middle of some trees and uh, he will find a different pathway around. It's actually very easy to take care of trolls. Oh, that was really smart. Come on. I'm going to take you down. One more shot. That's all I need. Boom! Right through the neck. Yeah, you're afraid I killed your big friend, huh? Oh, troll trophy. All right, that's a new one. There. Finally, another troll. Wait. Yeah, I've got enough arrows. I'll take you down. Boom. Yeah, his attacks are slow, so you can dodge. He has trouble walking around trees. And again, the rocks he throws are just unrealistically slow in their movement speed. I mean, it's not at all like a realistic rock being thrown. Did it kill him? Did you get... Yes. No, it did it. it. He slammed the ground right by the grayling and it didn't do a single thing, single bit of damage to the grayling at all. Wow, it's surprisingly cheap to actually upgrade the troll equipment. Uh, and I've got fresh troll hide. Yeah, so uh, say so all I need was it, it was two each. Let's just do the four. I go ahead and upgrade. Uh, so I'll upgrade the tunic because it's going up in armor. Uh, so that's, you know, good thing. More armor. And now it's going to cost four each, which it also requires a workbench of five. I don't have that. So that's not happening now. So I at least get up to two. Uh, let's see. Where's my helmet at? Four. So, yeah, it would be a good idea to go ahead and do troll helmet. Troll cap. Troll helmet. Yeah. All right. Does it have the menacing look? I look more like a rogue. I look very roguish now. Look at ah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a walker of the woods. So 
So I've learned that two good chops and then line them up the right way, you can knock down a bunch of trees very quickly. Just like that. So I took a little trip after spending a whole day chopping down trees, gathering supplies. I went from here, which this is where my original base was, all the way down here, which is another mountain area and close to the elder. So I'm right next to a dark forest. I've got meadows and I've got mountain up there. So it's a good little spot. I am using this as a place to test this out. I'm going to build a portal here. And, uh, oh, you're going to talk to me again, huh? Okay. Yep. Uh, give them the same name. So, uh, shortcut. There we go. Shortcut. In hindsight, I should have probably built the, uh, other portal first and named it before coming all this way and having to now walk all the way back. Shortcut two. Okay. Uh, portal tag shortcut. Unc How is that? Uh, there it goes. Okay. So there's a delay that I would not have expected. So it's connected now, but it's late in the day. It's not time. I'm going to take a nap. Uh, ooh, let's see. What does it happen when I walk up? Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, Okay, let's try this. Here we go. First time portaling. Uh, I show up. I had a little kind of a skippy effect to it there. And I seem to have all my stuff, which is good. I've never seen that stuff. Certain things can't travel through the portal. There's people posting on Reddit and other places, so... Uh, I'm glad to see that, you know, my bronze gear did go through the portal. Oh, look at that copper deposit right there. So that's a full set of copper. Uh, can't be teleported. And uh, yes, it's not actually letting me even try to go through. Uh, I don't have enough wood. I'm just going to grab some easy to pick wood real quick yep i put the copper in and it turns on which seems just like totally out of place honestly i mean copper or bronze sword goes through fine but raw copper cannot go through there's something off about that it's not just a fact of the logic it's a fact that basically I can't set up a mining location where all I do is go there, mine, and take everything back to my other spot. I actually have to just process everything there and hopefully be able to take it back as bronze uh, or copper bars because otherwise I can't go back. That's, that's very out of place, I would say. That doesn't make much sense. So the aspect of being able to fast travel is a common thing in a lot of games especially large map area games. I mean, Fallout, even there, fast travel, saves you time, uh, as opposed to having to walk it directly. But the fact that it's got an artificial restriction against ores like that, so you can't go and harvest stuff and have a mining site. Basically, every location that you're going to have one of those is either just you're traveling there just to explore, gather us few select items or you're going there to build a full featured base that you're planning to use to process and do whatever there and that has really put a damper on uh what i was thinking of doing a uh, tower and tower is where i found the last wolf or where the last wolf spawned in uh, oh hey there's a wolf there's two wolves See so if I could just get that one. And somehow they're wet. I'm not sure how they just, you know, got wet. Oh, yeah, I'm freezing. Uh, you know, conveniently was fine. 
for however long, and now suddenly I'm freezing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah! Uh! Oh, no, 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 no. I did, did the block did not work. It, I think it said unblocked. I'm going to guess that, uh, those wolves are probably not here anymore. It's going to be good and bad. Nope, nope, they're there. And I'm freezing again. I don't, how am I supposed to actually even get anything to keep me warm if I can't even go into the area long enough to get something to keep me warm on a normal basis? Okay, we're going to try this. Of course, I can't. I can place it there. But I can't place it on the wood. Which, I mean, I guess I don't want the wood to get, you know, catch fire, but I don't see why it works on the stone wall. Oh, of course, there's that lag. Conveniently, as I'm getting ready to fight. And he just does not want to go where I can shoot at him. There you go. Stay right there. I will get your fur at some point. It might take a half hour, but eventually I will get your fur. And now I've got the attention of the other one. Just let me kill both of them. Quickly and easily. Oh, come on. Oh, how I feel cold. I'm right next to it. I just went right through him. I saw it. That went through him too. How is it I'm shooting through their bodies now? All right, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. Why is it I was aiming at point A and I shot five feet below it? At no point do I seem to get better with my bow. No matter how much my archery skill improves, I keep shooting differently than I'm aiming. And apparently the other one decided he's not coming back. Because he's, he's not coming back. He's gone. So that's all I can stand at this point uh, of the game for today for this video because one session since last video to gather supplies and now this and I'm back where I was. Uh, you know, all the momentum I got out of the last video session out of what I accomplished with that, the feeling of actually moving forward is completely gone again. I'm back to that point of questioning why this game because I, I I really have no interest in playing it. It's not very well put together, actually, compared to numerous games I've played, both early access and complete. There's plenty of games out there that do everything this does much better. But I'm still gonna give it a little bit more time, but I, I'm at that point, I don't think I can do much more of this. So for today, that's it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about what you're seeing with the game. If you've got similar issues you've encountered, especially with the lag conveniently happening during combat sessions, uh, you know, let me know in the comment below. And of course, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I'll see you in the next video.